Hi, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with our Jaspies 4 box 17, 18, 19, 20 basketball mixer, random team number one, with a chance to win a spot in our huge three case triple double mixer, which we proved out to $400 value. We got Bubba here as well, whimpering in the background because he wants to play over there, everybody. Uh, this features a box of 17, 18, 19, 20, right? This features a box of 17, 18 Donner's Optic Hobby, 18, 19 Chronicles, 19, 20 Hoops, 18, 19 Donner's Optic Fast Break. So let's uh, assign you a team first. Let's roll it and randomize it one and a six, seven times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and final time. After seven, we've got Neil down to Daniel. And the, uh, the spot that we're giving away will be a separate dice roll at the end of the break along with any other randomizer. One and a six, seven times, just like it's break credit. Seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we've got the Clippers down to the Mavs. All right, so here's how it all shakes out. Neil, you have the Clippers. Thomas with the Suns. Daniel with the Pelicans. Nancy with the Magic. Charles with the Rockets. Daniel with the Pistons and Nets. Thomas with the Heat. Big Boys 007 with the Raptors. Arthur with the Knicks. Daniel with the T-Wolves and the Warriors. Nancy with the Thunder. Chen, you have the Nuggets. Uh, Khan, you have the Celtics, Colton, Hawks, Charles, Jazz, Dwayne with the Bulls, Anthony with the Cavs, Charles with the Hornets, Daniel with the Grizz, Aaron with the Kings, Jeff, you got the Trailblazers, Patrick with the Spurs, Daniel, Last Spot Mojo, Wizards, Nancy with the Bucks and Pacers, Daniel with the Sixers, My Lakers, and the Dallas Mavericks. All right, let's alphabetize by team. Any trades? Anyone want to trade? I see no trade chatter at all. Usually there's someone that says, hey, I want to trade these guys. No? Should we just break? All right, trade window going once. Trade window going twice. Type it in the chat, trade window closed, T dub C. Let's print, let's rip. Good luck, everybody. Chance to win. You can still buy spots straight up in that $400 mixer. Features two cases of flawless and a case of immaculate. Go big or go home, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We should be, we might be able to get to that tonight. Let's get the final print out here. And if we pull a logo man in that triple double mixer, we're giving away five hundred dollars of break credit. All right, so there is the final printout right here, Wednesday the thirteenth. Thanks everybody for getting in. Good luck with the break itself. Well, let's start with the oldest box first. Let's go from past to present. The oldest box is seventeen eighteen Donneris Optic Basketball. Hobby edition. Oh, actually, you know what? That fast break is supposed to be Donner's Optic Fast Break, not, not the Prism edition. Hang on a second. I'm going to pause the video really quick. We'll be right back. we gotta, we got to change this out. All right, welcome back, folks. I got the right box. That's the box that we're supposed to have in here. So let's put that right there. But well, we're going to start with 17, 18 Donner's Optic. Then we'll do a couple boxes of 18, 19 product, which are these two back here. And then we'll close out with 19, 20 hoops. And good luck with this one, ladies and gentlemen. Basketball action in full swing. What is our schedule tonight? We've got a lot of hoops tonight, right? Wednesday night. 
We've got Philadelphia is at Orlando. Memphis is at Charlotte. Washington is at Boston. Boston's been playing some great, uh, some great basketball. Keegan, this is uh, you don't like this format. This is our four box 17, 18, 19, 20 basketball mixer where you can win spots in our four hundred dollar triple double break. Clippers are at Houston. San Antonio is at Minnesota. Golden State is in L.A. playing the Lakers. And Toronto is at Portland. How does the case break? Uh, you might be looking at an eBay break, Keegan. This isn't, this isn't the eBay break side of things. If you read your item description, you should be able to get all your details there. So you're in the wrong spot. Terrible reader, I guess. <laughs> There's Bobby Portis to 175. Derek White. Is your first autograph for the Spurs? That will be for Patrick K. Markel Fultz, is he doing some work maybe? The Magic got a great deal on that Markel Fultz. Alfred Payton, orange to 199. And Nick said he's going to post another one of these uh, four-box mixers to try to win another spot in our triple-double mixer. So be sure to keep an eye on that. Or you can still buy your spot straight up in the triple-double as well. I think Jason Tatum will have opportunities to succeed here. Especially without Gordon Hayward. And there's Markel Fultz again to 175. So let's see how he does with the Orlando Magic over the course of the season. Daniel, you miss Zion? Zion misses you too. He should be back. We looked this up last night. Uh, he should be, our poor Gordon Hayward, out for a handful of weeks with that hand broken. Uh, he should be back in mid December at the latest, I want to say. There's Jonathan Isaac, rated rookie to 99. So he should be back before you know it. All right, um, let's go to the following year. Now we've got two 18-19 boxes. Let's do, let's do this Chronicles for, we haven't seen Chronicles in a little while. 18-19 Chronicles, I'm curious to see what's in here. Daniel says your Pelicans are suffering, just probably because they're named the Pelicans, which is like an old school ABA name, isn't it? I don't know. What should they, what should, if the Pelicans rebranded, what should the, uh, what should the, what should they call the Pelicans? Should they take the name away from the Jazz? New Orleans Jazz makes more sense. And then Utah, what would Utah be rebranded as? Oh, the Utah has a lot of beautiful national parks. Maybe something to do with the landscape out there. All right, there's Chronicles. There's Mo Bamba to 149. A lot of different fun little parallels here. There's Michael Bridges. And there is... Devontae Graham for the Hornets, 74 out of 75. That's for Charlotte. That's going to be for Charles, Charles S. 
Nice Trey Young. He had a great game last night. I think like 40 some odd points last night. It's pretty pretty ridiculous. It's pretty good. Logan saying that uh, Gordon Hayward shouldn't have left the uh, shouldn't have left the Jazz. I was hoping that he'd stay too. I mean, Jazz have a pretty good team. Imagine that team, you know, with Gordon Hayward, healthy Gordon Hayward. That would be pretty awesome. Marvin Bagley to 249. And Michael Porter Jr. to 149. There's Nemanja Belitsa. Belitsa. 73 out of 75 for the Sacramento Kings. That's going to go to Aaron and the Kings. Daniel likes the idea of the New Orleans Voodoos, Logan. He'd buy that jersey. He doesn't care about the state bird. <laughs> not sure if we can, not sure if that would be proper, Jack, but they could, I suppose. Is that even a thing anymore? Out of 49. Sleeve all these up. Yeah, TJ saying those threes that Trey Young were hitting last night were, were insane. Five, six feet behind the line. Yeah, he's turn, turns out he's pretty good. I'm glad that he wasn't a flash in the pan. Looks like he's picking up right where he left off, even with like the little bit of injuries that he had early in the season. All right, now let's go into 1819 Donris Optic Fast Break Basketball. That's the green box with Kobe in the background. Let me sleeve these up really quick. All right. Now I feel like Trey Young does... Uh, I feel like Trey Young does a good job at, at. He's not just a scorer, you know what I mean? I feel like the knock coming out of Oklahoma, coming out of college, was that, oh, all Trey Young's going to do, you know, in the NBA is just jack up threes and blah, blah. But I feel like he he's more of an, a, a, an all around player than, than I think people initially thought he would be. You know, I think he's playing within the game plan. Plays a little defense, distributes the ball pretty decently, and doesn't seem too too wild with his with his shot, shot selection and whatnot. Logan's thinking the U Utah could be renamed. We have well, he's thinking we got Zion National Park, which which is a beautiful park. I love going there. Uh, which, so we should have Zion the player. And just rename the team the Utah Zions. With Zion Williamson. Go with this next one here. There's Jeff Teague. There's Alfred Payton. I think these pink ones are are. Uh, this is for the Pelicans for Daniel. I think this is uh, exclusive to this particular fast break set. What? Hey, Bubba, relax. Hey, what? You hear some you hear you hear a dog outside, I see. The dog can't hear you, I guarantee you that. He does not know you're here. I assure you, I'm I'm guaranteeing you that. And we got Lonnie Walker the fourth. 
Fast break signatures. Going to the Spurs. Patrick K with the Spurs. Daniel says, Charlotte Bobcats, Los Angeles Lakers, silly name. Well, the Lakers is a holdover from, from Minnesota. A lot of lakes there. I don't know why they didn't rebrand uh, when the Lakers moved here in the 60s or whatever. There you go, Logan. Yeah, we, we still I guess we still steal water from lakes in Northern California, so maybe that still applies. There's <laughs> Zach Collins. Bobcats. I'm not sure where they got Bobcats. Are they, I mean, I'm sure there's Bobcats in North Carolina, right? Now they're the Hornets. And obviously the Pelicans were old team name. And Utah Jazz used to be in New Orleans, so that's where they get Jazz. They didn't rebrand there. That's Luka Doncic. A team that should rebrand, and I know it's a basketball break, but a team that should rebrand, Chargers, Los Angeles Chargers. I'm not sure in, if that's going to quite work out, or they should just go back to San Diego. But I don't think that's going to. That's not going to happen. They're not going back to San Diego. But Chargers should rebrand, I think, if they want to make it here in LA. Now, Sean says, don't start this. You don't think so? You don't think they should rebrand? And I would give, there's Robin Lopez, I would give San Diego back all of their, all of the records and history and stuff like that. So just in case San Diego never, in case San Diego never, says Sean, in case San Diego gets, gets the Chargers again, or gets a team again. All right, final box, 1920 Zion. I don't know if that Chargers brand's gonna work here in LA though. Jimmy says we'd love a basketball team to rebrand in Seattle. We'll send the uh, we'll send the we'll send the Clippers up there, Jimmy. Turn it into the uh, Supersonics again. Is that right? Chargers are the only team that's been in Southern California since its inception. I guess they were in LA for a couple of years, in the 60s maybe, before they went to San Diego. I guess you're right, yeah. And Oakland was in Oakland, obviously. Yeah, and the Rams were, where the Rams come from? Were they, did they start in LA or were they somewhere else and they went to LA? And then they left and they came back. Logan thinking Seattle Kings. I don't think well, Seattle or um, Seattle Sacramento just built a brand new stadium two two years ago, a couple years ago. I don't think they're going anywhere for a while. Logan, yeah, John saying that, yeah they just opened a new arena. Yeah, they're not going anywhere for a while. They're locked in for a long time. Clippers are looking for a new arena, but I don't know if they're gonna find. Well, they're trying to build one next to the Forum, um, which is a nice is a premier concert venue now. And, but that's owned by Madison Square Gardens Entertainment Group, believe it or not. So if the Clippers build a new arena down closer to, closer to there, where the new football stadium is, that would be in conflict with, because they're gonna, they're gonna wanna have concerts there too, that's gonna be in conflict with the Forum. But the Clippers wanna find a new home though. John says, you were in Seattle last week and the key arena is being totally rebuilt. Ooh. Oh, they, the hockey team. I think, uh, I think they're building that for the new Seattle expansion team, NHL. Vanilla Gorilla says, California needs to quit building stadiums to do something for the homeless. Well, the stadiums are not being built with states and with public money. So I guess you should tell the you should tell Cronky 
to instead of building a billion dollar stadium, you have to tell him, not California. That's where you're wrong, Vanilla Gorilla. There is Nasir Little. Trailblazers. That will be for Jeff. There's Thaddeus Young. What's up, Gary? What's going on? Breaks are going well. We've got a couple of high tech breaks under our belts. We just started this, or we're just about to finish this four box basketball mixer where we're giving away a spot in the triple double mixer. Well, you're talking about two separate issues, Vanilla Gorilla. It seems like you're trying to shoehorn in that issue and blaming the stadiums for it. The stadiums are privately built. What you're talking about is a completely separate issue to these stadiums, which I don't think we're, we're going to have. We're not going to find the answer here, so I don't think we're going to have to discuss that. It is an issue, though. It's got to be solved. Sean is saying the owners of the Ducks bought up all the land around the Honda Center to potentially build an OC version of LA Live with a new stadium. Ooh, Clippers down there? That could be interesting. Yeah, that triple-double mixer is great, Gary, absolutely, but... I know, it's a, it's a little pricey, but I think we might get to it tonight. I could see us doing that. We've got a Zion right here, Tribute. Lou Williams. Jimmy's saying we had a guy uh, named Chris Hansen, the, the receiver for the Jets, that was going to build an arena next to T-Mobile Park Century League with all the private money and renovate the key arena, but the city council denied him. Interesting. Uh, let's... Nice Zion here. There should be one more autograph in here. It's two per box. And, oh, there it is. It's Otis Birdsong. Brooklyn Nets. There you go. Oh, old New Jersey Nets logo right there. Classic. And that'll be for Daniel. Now let's see if we have any other low-numbered stuff here. Maybe another Zion base card or something like that. Out of this 1920 set. Gary, you got a bas blaster pack of this hoops? You know, we did a handful of personal boxes last night. It seemed pretty solid. There's Giannis to four ninety nine. A couple autographs of box in the hobby edition is pretty cool. I like the nice clean design of the cards. A lot of the rookies are in here. Find some maybe find some Zion cards in here. A lot of Zion inserts. I like these NBA City cards. I think those look pretty sharp. All right, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Nice, quick four-box break. I'm going to sleeve these up a little bit later. But let's give away the spot. That's the huge thing right here. So one of you are going to get a $400 spot. Good luck. Let's copy all the names here. Let's get a blank list here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a five, nine times. Name on top gets the triple-double mixer spot. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, good luck. Name on top is going to be five, four, three, two, and Colton Carver. Congrats to you, Colton. You have a spot in the triple double three case basketball mixer. Featuring 1819 Flawless Basketball, 1920 Flawless Collegiate Basketball, brand new release today, and a case of 1819 Immaculate Basketball, and with the logo man 
bounty right there. If we pull a logo man, we give 500 bucks away to the people in the break. And whoever, whatever team the logo man is, that person gets to keep the logo man, obviously. It's pretty good. So you can still buy your spots straight up, ladies and gentlemen, on jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is Joe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.